Today we shoot the 93x62 uh, in an original Type B Obendorf Mauser bolt action rifle. And again, just for consistency, on the far right is a uh, belted 375 Holland Holland uh, bullet or round. To the left of it, uh, we have the uh, 286 grain uh, hydro solid from Woodley. Uh, those rounds uh, run a velocity of about 2,300 feet a second. And to the far left, uh, we have a little bit of a, a unique setup uh, in the sense that uh, most 93 by 62 projectiles are in the 286 grain uh, uh, weight range. And these are actually two uh, Swift A frame 300 grain uh, soft points traveling at about 2,270 feet a second. Uh, ideal medicine for buffalo. Um, I was actually put onto these rounds by Kevin Robertson and um, I really do believe that uh, they, they give the 93 by 62 a nice edge. Uh, still keeping recoil very, very manageable, uh, but putting a 300 grain uh, well-constructed soft uh, bullet into, uh, into the, uh, the buffalo. Now, uh, just uh, these two rounds, the 286 grain Woodley Hydro Solid and the 300 uh, Swift A-frame, they were loaded to shoot at the same point of impact. So. Uh, we'll actually shoot them that way uh, out of the rifle as well. We'll put uh, two or three solids uh, below in the magazine and one soft on top and um, we'll shoot the rifle. Now just before we shoot the rifle I just want to uh, show you a couple of unique uh, uh, aspects of this uh, uh, Obendorf Mauser in 93x62. Very recently I acquired a copy of the 93x62 Mauser journal uh, and this is actually the third edition. It's a hardcover book. Uh, it was put together by Hendrik van der Skyf. Uh, I think it's very well put together. It is very well balanced. Uh, so if you're a 93 by 62 Mauser fan, uh, this book covers history. It covers a lot of hunters and uh, professional hunters that actually use the 93 by 62 for uh, client guns. And uh, Pierre van der Walt actually put uh, a very, very nice, uh, concise uh, reference uh, chapters together on the reloading uh, and some of the internal ballistics and all of those things. Uh, so definitely, if you're a 93 by 62 fan, uh, this is definitely a, a, a hardcover uh, book that you could get that uh, will last you uh, for a long time. It's got uh, good stories, good reference work. And uh, you can just uh, order it online from uh, lulu.com. Uh, just type in 93x62 Mauser Journal. And if you use Hendrik van der Skeef's name, it'll pop up immediately. But very well put together, and uh, I think it will uh, it'll stand the test of time. First and foremost, this rifle actually came with a very nice setup with a scope attached via claw mounts uh, on the single square bridge action. Now, one very nice aspect of that is that uh, just below the telescope, it actually has an open uh, sight picture where you can actually use the rear and front uh, open sights of the rifle without actually detaching the scope. So a very nice, useful uh, uh, aspect of this gun. Uh, especially with close-up work uh, if you need to shoot something pretty close by. Now one of the, the, the problems that comes with, uh, with attaching a scope to these older rifles is they were all set up with the flag safety, the old uh, Mauser uh, flag safety at the back and you can see that this flag safety is going to catch on the scope and it won't be able to put this rifle on safe completely. So something else had to be devised and you'll see when we look at the 375 Holland and Holland, Holland, Holland actually put a a thumb safety just uh, almost right here to the right of the action where uh, uh, on this specific rifle Mauser uh, took a different route. So on this specific rifle uh, you can see here that the uh, flag safety is going to catch there so uh, it, it, it's of no use so we'll just uh, put that off safe completely. Uh, once the scope's on this rifle. Uh, typical to some of that era uh, Ubendorf Mauser actions, uh, it comes with double triggers. So the rear trigger is actually the trigger that'll set the front trigger. 
so if you want to find hair trigger, uh, you'll pull the rear trigger first. It'll set up the front trigger, and as you touch that front trigger, uh, it will fire the round. Now, if you're in a rush, uh, you don't have to do that. You could just take the front trigger, keep pulling it, and eventually it'll fire that round. So this is kind of the, the, the little different setup here is this greener side safety. Uh, so that uh, has the capacity to put your gun completely on safe uh, if you can't use this uh, flag safety. So again, uh, to the rear, it will show you the S in there uh, to put the gun on safe. And if you want to fire, you just move it to the front and you're ready to go. Uh, so with that, uh, let's put a couple of rounds through this uh, old rifle. We'll use three rounds today. Uh, we'll put the solids in first, and then the uh, 300 grain soft right on top. Close it. It's on safe, so uh, we'll take it off safe and and uh, let it go. I hope you enjoyed today's session and until we meet again, stay safe and happy hunting.